Alright guys, so as everybody knows, the most important thing about this game is looking good. Like, we can talk about stats and swords and trinkets and all this stuff all day. It literally won't make any difference at all if you don't have a good hat. And there, there aren't really any weak hats, it's just that some are really, really strong. Okay, so we'll start off with the Witch Hunter. Basically everything he has is strong. Like, all of his stuff is good. You can get a hat with a feather, you can get one with a mask. We can get a really strong one. If you're going to be playing Death Wish, this is basically the only Death Witch viable hat. And then Vermilion Tidings. Those are really your two best options uh, because this one has the seal uh, and it's red, which is obviously better. If you're going to be playing Witch Hunter, these are pretty much your own. Your best two choices are the Vermilion and the Redeemer. Uh, and you can look a pirate, look like a pirate if you want to. That's kind of up to you. If you want to play the bitch, I mean the, the Way Watcher, uh, she has a lot of strong hats to choose from. My personal favorite uh, is the underwear, the underwear hat. It just really suits her character. That one's nice. Uh, the red hat is like this, but with white, so it's pretty strong. Uh, a lot of people, a lot of people like that hat. Um, it's still not as strong as underwear hat, but it's definitely the second strongest out of all her hats. She has some others that are nice. If you really want to get out in front of your team and die alone, this is the best hat. This really just communicates to your team that you're not interested in them. The luchador hat is good too. Uh, she's a girl, so she likes pretty stuff. So this little pretty, you know, pretty elvish crap over here. Elves love that kind of stuff, so this hat suits her well. Barden has got some really strong hats. All of his, all of his hats are pretty strong. Some are really strong. He's got his Gimli hat here. Uh, he has no hat, little man bun in the back. Look at how well shaven he is too. Bar Barden looks nice. He's got one like this, but like with bigger horns. That's definitely his strongest hat. Again, if you want to play Death Wish, it's basically it's his only Death Wish viable hat. He has a boar on top of his head. You know, that's really intimidating. It really scares the rats when they see that. The candle one is nice too, especially on dark levels, because you can use a little candle to light your way. Look at that. Where's his eyes? Way down there. Clearly a very strong option. For Sienna, uh, if you can't handle how hot she is, this is clearly your best option right here. Uh, another, an, a really important thing to note about Sienna is her first trinket slot, uh, so you need to take the fish. I like the fangs one too, the fangs are really, they're pretty strong. And I don't actually have many of Sienna's hats because I just like this one. My personal favorite is still, is the, is the candle one, uh, so you can see just how hot she is. Look at those pronounced cheekbones. Look how sharp they are. It's ridiculous. So, you know, I, I feel like this one just accentuates uh, you know, her cheekbones the best. Definitely the candlelight guard. Kruber also, the fish is mandatory. Uh, you definitely want to take the fish. The most common helmet is the Deus Volt helmet. I mean, is, is there really anything else to say? No, there's not. If you get his pay to win outfit, you see the Deus Volt, it doesn't match just as much because at this point, you're so, you're so shiny that you don't really need a helmet anymore. The red feathers is what really makes a difference. It ties the outfit together. Look at this. The feathers, everything is just, it's just perfect. Everything else is kind of subpar. The red one is nice. Look at all that gold. What is that? It's like a lion. Rats are scared of lions. It has feathers everywhere. Uh, the Bogenhofen, very strong, very strong. Look at that. The things that the Roman, like the emperors and stuff wore, he's got like that and a skull and it's gold. I mean, how cool is that? He also has a, a like a helmet with a feather. You can get hats with feathers and you can get other hats with feathers. And then you can get the hat with the skull for octopus. Yeah, I don't know what that is, man. That's freaking weird. Well, isn't that awesome? That's great. I mean, he has the red feathers, the bowgun hoffman, and the bleachers. I mean, all these are all these are equally good. Uh, so yeah, th that's just a brief overview of the hats because fashion is the most important thing in this game, and I think we really need to to step up our hat game out there.